SpaceX celebrates Crew Dragon's first launch anniversary with epic video. Ice launch track and countdown net. Pad is clear. Go for launch. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Take your trick. Lift up. Separation confirmed. Houston Station, space to to ISS thrusters enabled. One year ago today, SpaceX took a giant leap forward for private spaceflight with the launch of its first Crew Dragon to the International Space Station and the company is celebrating that feat with an epic new video. The new video, which SpaceX shared on YouTube and Twitter, shows the company's first Crew Dragon spacecraft launched on the Demo-1 mission from NASA's Kennedy Space Center in Florida. The mission, an uncrewed test flight, launched a spacesuit-clad dummy named Ripley and an adorable Celestial Buddy Earth plush toy to the station. On March 2, 2019, Falcon 9 launched Crew Dragon on its first demonstration mission, and the next day it became the first American spacecraft to autonomously dock with the International Space Station, SpaceX said in a YouTube description. After its stay at the space station, the spacecraft successfully splashed down in the Atlantic Ocean, completing its mission and demonstrating SpaceX's capabilities to safely and reliably fly astronauts to and from the space station as part of NASA's commercial crew program. The new vid- The video lasts just 2 minutes and 20 seconds, but covers the full 6-day test flight for Crew Dragon's Demo-1 mission. A Falcon 9 rocket launched the mission on March 2, with Crew Dragon arriving at the station a day later on March 3. On March 8, 2019, Crew Dragon returned to Earth with a splashdown in the Atlantic Ocean, where it was plucked from the sea by SpaceX's Go Searcher recovery ship. 
SpaceX is one two companies tapped by NASA to fly astronauts to and from the space station as part of the multi-billion dollar contracts under the agency's commercial crew program. The other company is Boeing and its Starliner spacecraft. While SpaceX I'm sure you've been following along uh, on social media. You've seen the photos of our zero-G indicator. Mm -hmm. um, now, he's not coming back until you bring him back for us, so you'll have a little bit of time to play with him while you're on station. Is there anything that you would like to teach a uh, little Earthy while you're up on station with him? Yeah, that's a that's a good question. I didn't actually realize that uh, little Earthy was going to stay on board the <laughs> space Earthy station until so, uh, Lee Rosen, one of your uh, yeah. uh, folks here at SpaceX, come and let us know uh, when we when we sat down to watch undocking, and he said, "Hey, we're going to need Earthy back. You've got to bring him back." <laughs> and so uh, I think our plan is to have him teach us. He's going to welcome us aboard probably when we get there. And I think Ann and David and Oleg have uh, trained him up well, so hopefully he can walk us through the emergency brief. And he's a full-fledged <laughs> station crew member by the time. That we get there. Well, it definitely looks like he's been getting a crash course in just about everything. Yeah, he should have it all and he ought to be able to transfer it to us. <laughs> That's part of being a, a crew member that arrives and takes over responsibilities on the International Space Station. That's very cool. Well, we certainly look forward to him coming back as well as you and Doug in our Demo 2 mission in a couple of months. So, it'll be very exciting. Very much looking forward to it, as you might imagine. <laughs> yeah, us All as right. well. Thank you. Well, we're going to get back to the re-entry interface. Bob, we're going to let you go watch along because, again, vested interest in all, everything that's happening. <laughs> Thanks so much for jumping upstairs real quick and talking about this. Thank you again. Thank Dan. you very much. <laughs> Thank you. This first Crew Dragon capsule, the one that flew the Demo-1 mission, was destroyed in April 2019 during abort system ground tests. The company has since successfully launched a second Crew Dragon on an in-flight abort test that demonstrated the vehicle's launch escape system in January of this year. The company now aims to launch its first human crew, NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley, later this year, possibly in May. SpaceX's next launch will be the uncrewed Dragon CRS-20 cargo resupply mission to the International Space Station for NASA. That flight is scheduled to launch late Friday, March 6. Please hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed.